right, it creates a buzz. It is a sonic blockbuster matchup that, like Allison talked about, it's been here for football, but I've never seen it for basketball like this. Barrett knocks down a jump. CC and Barrett and Williamson. Phil Kofer has a three. Can't move along the baseline. Zion right. Williamson just did. Wasn't a made for field goal. So Kofer has oh. his pocket picked by Trey Jones. He glides in for two. Most he showed his ability. He's working on that area. That's an area he knows he has to improve. Oh, uh, okay. Kofer for three. Yes. Coming back from a foot injury. Williamson sets up Barrett. The answer. He's here for it, Duke. He's in a close game, you got to be concerned about their free throw shooting. Williamson along the baseline. Hands and rolls one. Good shot right there. Not a good shot at all. Shot selection is a key. you got to get quality shots. There's a quality shot. He's very athletic. That was big for him psychologically making that free. Only shooting 34% from three so far this season. The lob. And Kamaji. With that record. Forrest leaves one for man. Plus the foul. Out for David Nichols. Forces one up with the left hand. Reddish blocks it and takes it away. Great play by Reddish. Terrific play defensively. Barrett draws contact. No call. Offensive rebound and a putback is there for Marquis. ESPN app. As this game has been a little sloppy early, that's Kevin Gelly with another takeaway for Florida State. Quick to the goal, scoop. They're not intimidated by the dunking ability and the explosiveness to do. They see that a lot in practice every day, those athletes. Zion Williams. The ball and get better shots. The one thing they have, Florida State, is a deep team. They play nine guys at least 12 minutes a game. Against Miami, they played 11 guys. White puts up an air ball. That leaves it, though. Averaging 20 points a game. There is Barrett, and there's a three. Our offense, they have just one offensive rebound so far in this game. And also on that end, guys, they have to do a better job as they fight on the boards there and get rewarded. When they our offense, they have just one offensive rebound so far in this game. And also on that end, guys, they have to do a better job as they fight on the boards there and get rewarded. When they Reddish leans in, scores again. Wow. The more new offensive end. They're trying to speed up the game, a little trap right here. Kevin Gelly, early shot clock. Right back to Kofer after he missed. Oh, and thought about a three. They should have got it back into Kofer. Walker drives to the rim. Kofer with oh. the foul. Lost that game to Kansas. So these teams know a little about winning, except Duke has a whole new team where they really are veterans. They take a look right there. That was Florida a great State. run by Florida State last year. A great lob. Walker had it taken away by Jones. Right back to Forrest. Kevin Gelly hits a three. Zion for three. Yes. And comes away with the rebound. No doubt about it. Jones pass. with the reverse. What a too much. Get a little more player movement, ball movement. Fundamentals that are elementary. We've been talking about them for years. Forrest dumps it down to Kevin Gelly. Yeah. It's a five on four. For Florida State, Kofer for three, banks oh, it in. He done, competed, competed and played hard. Duke is rotated to his own. A three from the corner, knocked down by wow. Savoy. Here's wow. that, that motivated me, Mr. Vital, and I always think about that every day. She's a beautiful young girl, Emily Ayers, cancer free right now. Bounce, bounce, and bounce. Kofer left alone. He's got him. Challenging their depth. The depth factor is big for Florida State. Reddish. Yes. I like it. The lob. Another finish for Kevin Gilly. Forrest comes up lane. That has Forrest been behind the play. Play. Oh, oh, oh. Are you seeing shot selection really, really, really important? And the thing is, they just got to keep playing the hard. Another lob. Duke has no answer. My question to Florida State, why is not not utilize more often. Barrett. What? Reddish unloads to White. Barrett for three. He's got... That's just what they were talking about in the Florida State huddle. They were telling their guys that everything... Nichols, Reddish. Nichols a transfer out of Albany's been giving him a lot of good minutes, but they're not getting it today. Oh, Reddish pulls up. Walker. Good athletic ability by Walker right there to come up with that rebound. Across the lane. Oh, oh, 
Andre Jones with a lob. Bolden couldn't finish. There's oh, Jones a to follow. And it comes against number one. Reddish. It's a three. Uh, you don't want, you don't want to get that look in these last three minutes. Exactly. He doesn't want no moral victory. Man. He doesn't want to say we could and should have. He wants that win. Forrest drives to the goal and ties the game. Got hurt a little bit early in the game. Came back strong with a drive there to the goal. Now it gets down to guts, loose balls, 50-50 balls, toughness. Barrett does it again. Little and looks to go to work. Off balance. Off to Savoy. He's going to have to force one. Oh! Oh! oh. Draws a foul! Oh. The pump fake. The little pump fake. Celebrate right there. Now you got to convert. Florida State. Oh! 11 of 13 in the second half from the line. Beefy. Well, remember, a lot of time left for Duke. A lot of time for one. 2011, eight years ago it happened. 2006 it happened. Will it happen? Here we go. Here we go. Gotta... Barrett with eight seconds. He'll drive it with a shot fit. Puts it up and draws the foul. That was a professional play with the shot. Right now the line. Is he missed any? Seven for seven today. Seven for seven. And make it eight for eight. Eight for eight. And two different ways to play that. Some decide to pull a tie. Some go watch it. He oh, it. Oh, oh. It belongs to Florida State. First free throw he missed. All right. Kofor throws it back in. It looks like it went off the right arm of Kevin Gelly. Yeah, it really did right there. There's no question. I think you can see it. I can see it with one eye. It's going to be Duke's ball. Yeah, the initial call wow. by Mike Roberts was... Where's Barrett right now? After what feels like an eternity. Finally ready to play the Bold last 2.8 seconds. Bolden's going to scream for Barrett. You watch. Bolden scream for Barrett. There it is. There's a scream. There's Barrett for the ball. It's oh, in. Wide open. Wide open. Got it! Oh! oh. They shut Barrett down, Reddish wide open, and delivers. Reddish got the shot off in time. This is basically a catch and shoot. There's a no yeah. doubt about it. There's no now, doubt. should there no be doubt. some time left on the clock for Florida State, and there should be, as soon as the ball yep. passes through the bottom of the net, right. that should be when they're going to throw the baseball best. you got to cover the guy throwing the ball in bounds. I would cover him. Remember the year Patino didn't cover the guy against... Uh, and that game with Duke? Well, since Lakers. Duke was the beneficiary of that, I guess Coach K learned. He's got Bolden yeah, ready big, to guard right. Trent Forrest. He's got the biggest guy. Now remember, he can run that baseline. Forrest throws it down court. It's tipped over the backboard. And Duke survives on the road on the Reddish game winner. Heartbreak Hotel for the kids from Florida State. Heartbreak Hotel. They were like an inch away from winning if that ball doesn't go over to Duke under the basket. Incredible. A great